Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. I am so happy to have you here today. Um, this will probably be the very first video that I'm uploading to my new channel and it is unboxing my GoPro Hero 9. I don't necessarily plan on doing a lot of unboxing content, but I do plan on sharing my life with you while I'm in lockdown here at home. And in order for me to do that, I was desperate for a new camera. We decided to order the GoPro Hero 9, the black bundle. Uh, we did order it just recently on December 2nd. I believe it was like a Cyber Monday deal or a Cyber Week deal. Um, I received the camera today in the mail. Today is the 8th, so it took about six days shipping, which wasn't too bad. If you are curious, I am recording this video now on my iPhone 7S, which is pretty old. And one of the things I'm actually looking forward to is having this video on my channel to be able to compare the difference in the quality between this video and what eventually will be filmed on the Hero 9. So if you are also interested in the quality difference and stay tuned, go ahead, subscribe. I'd be happy to have you here and you can see for yourself once I start uploading more content that is filmed on the nine. Okay, so first things first, it came in a uh, very reasonable packaging. It's not too big to where the camera was sliding around. I have to worry about if it got smashed up or anything like that. I feel, feel very comfortable with it coming in this size box. So that's first thing, that's great. Um, it came wrapped in plastic. I have my child friendly scissors because safety first. We're very accident prone around here and I did not want to lose my finger on my first day of my new YouTube job. All right, so here it is. I'm trying, is that the back? Yeah. Ooh la la, very pretty. There it is, there she is. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and read off everything that it comes with here. Um, it comes with the Hero Black, sorry, the Hero 9 Black camera, a handler, a magnetic swivel clip, a spare battery, a 32 gigabyte SD card, and of course the carrying case. So let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, it's got a nice little pool tab here. Very nice. How, how convenient is this if you're traveling or even um, I plan on filming a lot of vlog style content with this GoPro Hero 9. So it's very convenient that it's lightweight it's small, it's compact, it all fits in this tiny case. I love that. Whoa, look how nice. Wait. It looks so nice. Okay, so first things first, I think I'm supposed to show you what I'm doing. Uh, first things first, up in this nice little compartment here it looks like we have our SD card wow that glare is pretty bad sorry about it okay and then we also have some instructions on oh stickers some GoPro stickers and instructions on something we'll look at that later of course, your user manual. Is this too washed out? I really hope it's okay. Should we go for the camera first? Okay, let's. Maybe not. We'll go with this first. <laughs> okay, so this looks like our handler, which is very convenient for vlogging. I love the way um, my hand feels around this. It's very comfortable. It has a nice grip. Um, 
I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a foam. So you get a nice, is this awkward? You get a nice grip on it. Um, and then of course it comes with the little wrist strap with the adjustable thingy here so that you could do this all the time and it won't go flying anywhere or break anything. I'm sure that's not what it's for, but. Yay, so nice handle so far. What's next? This looks like the magnetic swivel clip, maybe. Yeah, so it is magnetic on the back. And then you would attach your camera right in here and then you could clip it in all different areas to get the best angles. Oh, shoot. Okay, so here we have our two batteries. It did come with a spare battery, which I love because you never want to be in the middle of filming something and get that battery notification and then um, you cannot continue until you charge your battery. So I love that it came with a spare battery. Very nice. Here we have a standard USB cable for charging, I assume. Ta-da. Uh, next here we have some additional attachments. This one looks like a sticker attachment, so that's kind of nice. Has a 3M, has different screws, so I'm sure that you can adjust this on different things and get the best angle possible. So that's awesome, it comes with all that. And then lastly, let's see here. It kind of has this divider in the case. I don't know if you guys can tell. This is just cardboard here, but I think I'm gonna keep that because it kind of keeps everything in its own um, place within the carrying case. So let's see if I can actually get this out of here. Hello. Okay, ta-da, we got it out. So maybe if I put it, I wonder if it fit like that. I don't know, it's kind of difficult to get out of there, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this little thing or not, but I do like the idea of the camera maybe being in its own case inside here so that uh, your screens, your lens are not getting scratched. So that's kind of just a side note, but let's go ahead and do all the fun parts. I'm gonna pull the stickers off. Yay. Wow. Beautiful. I mean, I guess that's it as far as unboxing. Uh, one of the most exciting things about the Hero 9 is that it does come with the front and the back facing display. That is huge. Um, I believe in the past it has only had the back facing display, so that's a pretty big deal. I love that when you're vlogging uh, with the front display now, you can see if you're in the frame, uh, you could see what's all in the shot. I kind of love that. I believe it's also going to have information on the screen, maybe battery life on the front, whereas in the past you would only be able to see that through the back or through the GoPro app. Uh, take into consideration, I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Um, I have had a GoPro in the past. I did not use it or learn about it to its full potential. Um, so this is kind of almost like a brand new experience to me. But from what I read, I'm sure that that's the case, that this front display is brand new. The GoPro 8 did not have that, if I remember correctly. Some other features of the 9 include a 30% more battery life. We love that. Um, it includes a detachable lens. You can now remove the lens from the GoPro and you can 
use different lenses depending on the situation that you're shooting, that you're filming, so that's really exciting. Yeah. Waterproof up to 33 feet. Probably not gonna test that out for you, but it's good to know. And it also shoots 5K video, 5K, which is just incredible. You guys are gonna know me better than I know myself, uh, which may or may not be a good thing, but I'm just kidding. So that's it. That was really quick. Um, lots of stuff to learn about here though. I love how everything was packaged. It feels really nice. It was expensive even uh, with the the holiday with the cyber deal it was still expensive so it's nice to open it up and it feel good everything is feels really really nice quality um, I'm super excited about all these different attachments and to figure out what all I'm able to do with them and I'm just really excited to get started on this journey so if you watch this video I freaking appreciate you I I love that you're here um, real quick, I am going to let you know because this is my first video and this isn't the kind of content that I'm going to be doing. I wanted to let you know what you could look forward to if you wanted to subscribe and to... I wanted to let you know what you could look forward to. If you wanted to subscribe, if you like this video, if maybe you think you like me, if you want to stick around and see what we have to offer. Um, I am in lockdown with my family. We have been in lockdown since March pretty much and I have just decided to start sharing my daily life with you guys on YouTube with anybody who wants to watch, with anybody who wants to listen. It's uh, going to be a lot of probably cleaning videos, organized with me. I do love MMA so I would love to be filming some sort of MMA content, maybe spend fight days with me is something that I would like to do. Fight days are generally Saturday when the UFC holds their events, and that's what we're doing on Saturdays. We're sitting down in front of the TVs for some good old MMA, and so I would like to film that. Um, maybe cooking, maybe mukbangs. I have no idea. Maybe if there's something you want to see me do, throw it out there. I might do it, um, but it's just time to get on YouTube, to start a channel, and to see what happens and I'm so excited for this to be my first video. I am very fortunate to have this new camera and uh, to have this opportunity and once again I appreciate you for watching. Thank you for dealing with my awkwardness. <laughs> please stick around, please subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.